guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. I am Britt, the cameraman is the beard. Today's video is a shelf timber use it up challenge. So I'm making the probably not so viral anymore, but viral million dollar spaghetti. So you want to preheat your oven to 350. Um, I'm sauteing some onions and bell peppers. And then I got water with salt and oil in it. And this is part of the use it up thing. So I have some bell peppers. They, they've seen better days and they need to be used up. So I'm using those up. And then the spaghetti, it, I don't know if y'all can see the date on it, but it expired. I don't know if spaghetti noodles really expire, but it expired in July 2024. So those need to be used up. And then if you come over here, we have garlic that I'm going to be putting in, um, four cheese alfredo sauce, and pasta sauce, and then I'm going to top it with cheese that we had to dig in the depths of our freezer. So this is a really good use it up meal. So I'm going to cook the spaghetti noodles, I'm going to saute these up, I'm going to put the beef in there, and I'm going to saute, the, saute these up for a minute before I add the beef. That's why there's butter, because our ground beef doesn't really have um, much grease to it. I'm going to throw in some garlic. And as you can see, we are at the bottom of the garlic jar. So this really is a um, use it up type dish for us. Maybe not for everybody, but for us it's going to be a, a very widely use it up type thing. Okay guys, so now we're adding our hamburger because that's sauteed for a few minutes. If it'll come out. Hang on. I'm gonna wash my So we got our noodles boiling, our hamburger is on cooking. Um, okay, now I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning. The cheapest possible. And some this is supposed to be like adobo. I don't know what it is, but this is what I'm using. Perfect seasoning. A generous amount. You can make what add whatever spices you want. I mean, you can add parsley, garlic, onion, whatever. I'm not adding garlic and onion because I'm cooking with garlic and onion. And it's in the... And it's in the um, perfect seasoning. I'm also going to add some salt and pepper to this. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of pepper and no salt. Yeah. No salt. No salt. No, no, good. The beard doesn't want me to add extra salt, so I don't know. that's got salt and pepper. Okay. Oh, wow. But look at these guys. These are, I bought these when I went thrifting a long time ago. But look, aren't they cute? They're little chicken salt and pepper sugars. So the beard doesn't want me to add extra salt, which is fine because he has high blood pressure. So now I'm just going to let this cook down. Let the noodles boil and get done, and then I will show you. Bless you, he. If you heard that, that was a sneeze. So we're gonna cook this down, and we'll be back to show you in a minute. So this is the pasta sauce we're using. The beef mixture is done. I'm gonna pour it in here to go ahead and get it heated up while the noodles are finishing. I don't want to waste, so I just put a little bit of water in there. I did turn the heat off, so this is just residual, residual heat. Gosh, oh, you can't talk. Now, we're going to put the... 
alfredo sauce in the bottom of this pan then we'll put the noodles on top of it we're just getting everything ready while the noodles are finishing and if you hear um noise ethan is watching pokemon so you might hear him playing around okay so now that that's done we're going to drain the noodles add them and then we'll show you from there so the noodles are done we are just mixing them in the alfredo y'all there's probably like a billion different recipes for this i'm just kind of making it up i saw a recipe and um just to get a general knowledge of how to make it and now i'm kind of making it my own way because that's the beauty of cooking not everybody cooks alike not perfectly combined but it's combined enough now the beard's going to take the oh we don't mix it um beef mixture with the marinara sauce that's like ignore the dishes over there pour it over we're not gonna mix it we're just gonna pour it as even as we can Then we're going to put some mozzarella cheese on top, bake it for maybe 20 minutes on 350 until the cheese is melted because everything's cooked, guys. So we're not going to get sick or nothing if it's not baked long enough. Okay, so we're just going to spread that as even as I can. The beard's going to take back over. I'm going to put cheese on and we're going to put it in the oven. And I have a um, very, very... Scavenger puppy. Scavenger puppy. She loves cheese, guys. Measure with your heart with the cheese. I'm sure that's probably good. I like to measure with a shovel with my cheese. Now we're going to pop this in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes. I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like right out of the oven. And now I'm going to plate it up and show you what it looks like. I've seen people like swirl it and make it look all fancy. I am not fancy and it did not swirl very nicely for me. So this is what it looks like all plated up. This will be monsters. There you guys have it. The viral million dollar spaghetti. Okay guys, so for the last part of this video, I'm going to be making homemade Rice Krispie treats. Um, the first thing I want to do is melt six tablespoons of butter on medium, medium low heat. Um, and while this butter is melting, I want to say thank you to the host of this video. This is a collaboration video. So thank you to Desiree from the channel Mama Friendly. I will leave her channel link as well as the playlist in the description box you want to use mini marshmallows for this recipe I originally tried with some um, regular marshmallows normal size I don't know if it was because they were old I don't know if it's just not a good idea I don't know I've never made these before but it was a disaster so I actually found some mini marshmallows that I had in the cabinet as well so we tried it with those and it came out so much better so if you've never made it I would highly recommend using the mini marshmallows but I don't know guys has anybody made it with regular marshmallows was it a good experience bad experience let me know in the comments because I'm legitimately curious it did not work for me with the regular it takes a little while for these marshmallows to get incorporated with the butter. I would say maybe three to five minutes. Um, so just be patient and keep stirring. You don't want it on high heat though, medium, medium, low. 
and that's what it should look like when you are finished with it just really you know smooth and soft and melty um i'm using rice krispie treats here rice krispie cereal not treats sorry guys and i'm using about five cups the recipe will either be on the back of the Rice Krispie cereal box or the marshmallows. I'm not sure which one, but I found my recipe online and it was three ingredients. Butter, the mini marshmallows, and the Rice Krispie cereal. So you can't get easier than that. And here you want to put it all together and incorporate it. And just keep mixing and mixing and mixing. It will be sticky, but it's worth it. Um... I also want to say that you'll need a pan, like a casserole dish, baking dish, whatever you have. You can use, lightly spray it. You can use parchment paper or you can use butter. You just want to make sure that there's something there so that it doesn't stick to the pan. I used butter. I just took a little bit of butter and rubbed it all over the pan and it worked wonderfully for me. But there's a couple different options in case you don't want to use butter. And here I am just stirring it, making sure that it's really well incorporated. It takes a minute or two. It's, it's not really that bad. It's just sticky. And then you just want to put it in the pan and evenly as you can um, pat it down. You'll see here in a second that I got a spoon, um, a metal spoon with a little bit of butter on the back of it because it was just sticking way too much to my wooden spoon. So you'll see that in a second, just to pat it down so it didn't stick. And also my kids loved this, guys. They absolutely loved it. And there is some water glassed eggs. We are preparing for winter because our girls are laying really, really well right now. As you can see, there was, we had extra eggs. Um, I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up. It really does help my channel out. And don't forget to check out the playlist. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. And I will see y'all in my next one. Bye everyone.